Hey there, this is Athril. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Spiritfarer. After I got distracted last time by hugging so many ghosts. Um. Alright, so we need to go down here. Apparently there's a thing down here that I need to get. There. I need to do for go to the Oracle Tree for a gala. Okay, that'll be next. And meanwhile, I have to give Elena one of my a keepsake. So we have once a promise, now it's just lost, and rusted rare coins must be valuable, but who knows. So, this was from a previous marriage. Um. Mm. That must have been hard. Actually, it was. Such is life. You live. Lose. We expect something to return. I'll let you have some time to yourself now, student. She is very much the life is life is hard lessons type teacher. She's probably fish. There's a sockeye salmon. I have to find. A, I finally have to find Grandpa Onion. Face that errand he's had for me forever. Yeah, there's nothing here. I'm supposed to be here. All right, let's check something. Yeah, there's something down there, maybe? No, that's the darkness. Ooh, what's that? So where's Grandpa Onion at? I need to plot my course to him after this. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, it's a bus stop. Okay. Uh, uh, Grandpa's onions over, over there by the darn. Okay. All right, let's um, let's check on something else really quick. Actually, there's a bus up there because that means I can fast travel. All right, we're going to look at something. Hummingbird. We have to go to anyway. Uh, Alright, got the shrine there. Nordweiler. Yep. Oxbury. Got the shrine there. Grimus Peak. 
shrine there. There's that other guy up top who talks about there being a secret shrine. Um, hmm. I'm gonna look at something really quick. Okay, uh, well, I guess what it says to complete, keep completing a story, I guess. So, we're to go in for a gala. Student? I'm not teaching for you. And you're going. You're tough enough not to be broken. I need to take me to the Everdor. You're equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. All right. That is good practice. It starts now. Dang, hers was short. Leave me alone on a boat with a D&D &D geek. That's not a bad thing. We need to find the Oracle. Oh wow, I feel amazing. Sacred Dog feels so blazing. I see visions of deception and hardships ahead. I see loss, sorrow, and pain. I see hope, love, and joy. We will return to the world with a token of passage, a piece of soul already paid, an item of immense value, and obol. But Spiritfair, this is not what you came here for. You came here seeking answers. You will find those answers in those simple numbers. Okay. Oh. 185.92. Okay. Symbols will show you the way. So come lightweights. Ah. So now I have to go back to where I was. And there's still a there's still a treasure up there, isn't there? They will forever extract the archives of yore. Forever stuck by the belladies of the seven corners. The oracle has awakened. He talked to you. This puzzle might be cryptic, but you have found the solution. Of this, I'm sure. Roll. Oh, oh well. Nah, I think you can figure this one out on your own. Good luck! Demons of Light. Okay. We are going back to where we just came from. 
uh, not without stopping by Grandpa Onion first. in there before. Shrine hidden in the mist. Still need to get that man some berries. I probably should just like finish all of Buck's stuff. I guess unless I'm getting really close to the other door, then I'm gonna drop Ellen off. Then I can finish Buck's stuff. is also kind of an oddball character because he was like one of two that didn't come shrouded I'm willing to bet dude at the top of the other mountain is just freaking graft. Oh. The Oracle's words are true. Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old, ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Avatar on the rise, the Kalei reveals can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Romalaza. I uh, say spot hidden, can shake it. Uh, okay. Only you, the chosen one, can resonate with his magic. Only you, the star child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, Commander. Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May our actions enlighten our path. Badge on your skill check. Light burst. I still have two opals left. So, what benefit does light burst give me? It's not like there are things to attack. Ah. 
magical. Blessed to see be the eleven stars. You definitely are the chosen one. The light bearer. The sun bringer. She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness dressed in shadow. The power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice forged glaive of Ethelduer, the first of the Dars. Alas, this party must split up now. Some company has played its role fully, and it's time for its members to head back to their homesteads. Also, these guys are past their curfew and need to get back home. Let's trek back to the galleon, where I'll describe our next great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to look again at my notes. Not sure. Onion has something for me. Ah! I've got a favor to ask. Yes, yes. Me a favor. How odd it must be for you. Nobody must ask you for your favors or that giant boat of yours. Listen, it's a wandering merchant. I always look for the next customer. I can't really do the simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now, I have an important errand for you. I need... I need to get my groceries. I know, I know. I just can't live on fish and seagulls for eternity. Go have a look. My grocery list might be a bit strange to you. Our shoe is very common where I'm from. What does he need? Uh, diamonds, electrum sheets, and eggs. Well? Commander, I must sadly bequeath you with grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval, e primeval evil powers of the Lich God Gullnamor by ourselves. We must rally to our cause as free people of three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We will trek to the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. The fires of Tondor have been known to you already. Cradle of Light itself, the Tower of Radiance where you met me, your humble narrator. The most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nestled with the, at the heart of the Gallery of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is atop the eternal ice spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know that our roads will be all but safe. We must warn you of the great danger posed by orcs of the Shadowsteel Clan. The master, the war chief Umgrathog, one eye is Gull Normoth's vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us, the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative! One, fumble! You are completely taken by surprise. The orcs jump from behind the shadows and bellow in their roars. The shadows still clan will devour you in it, shouts Gomgatha, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes are protected by Gordon Elmoth's nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin. Wait, oh, what? He actually... Oh, this is how you do XP potions. This is cute. I like this. Kind of cool. Fantastic. <clears throat> Crawling through debris, wounded and vanquished, Gomgotha expiates himself on the field. 
I'll be back, stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the routed orcs vanished from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional. But there is no, not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are group, grouping ready to play, and planning their revenge. Bah. Quick, to the fires of Tondor. So hungry. Uh, let's see. How about a pie? Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, uh, it's not like fruit. Okay. Come back here. Sustenance. I mean, oh, never mind. Have some snacks. Uh, any rings? Like any rings, right? Shit! I need to go. Do 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 do. So, I need to go to the lighthouses. The closest lighthouse. Oh. Okay, we can shortcut it, I think. About equidistant. Let's go. And I need to make some electro sheets. Actually, what's the hmm, what's the upgrade for the spithy need? A steel sheet and ah, I need more XP potions. Okay, well, Might be eggs in here. Doubt it. There's always a chance. Why is, why is groceries included diamonds and electrum? See, uh, like uh, earth elemental or something? Let's go take care of this first fire of Tondor.
crispy. Tomato pizza. I see. Some peaches. Can I buy eggs from you, can I? Nope. Okay. First fire has been lit, and you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worthiness is what great, grander than the mighty arm of Rakathor the Paladin. The moonbirds of Wa'eron will soon sing your praises in all the lands of Romadala. The commander, the bright moment joy sh can shine. We have a great visual. Gongata and his lackeys are probably be alerted for the sight of this glorious fire, and looking at the branches. Roll initiative. Fifteen. Great. Amidst the squad of the exalted village, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing toward your encampment. Getting closer. Spring for the retreat. Fight! powers. See, you can't leap and then uh, do a light burst. The dust from the epic battle barely settles. Layers put a layer of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battlefield. You're exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a social check. Fourteen! Success! As you observe your defeated enemies, you only wonder that where Gormgana lies. He's nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He's a follower of Gorn Elmoth, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, the next fire awaits. Onward. And we're gonna call it here for the night, I think. Uh, wish I would have found him earlier, darn it. He's fun. This quest is also really long. Alright. This has been Atheril. Hope everyone's enjoying Spirit Fair. I'll see you on the next one.